Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. This is Crater Captain 2017. It's just dropped about an hour ago. I've been waiting all day. Uh, the developers have had a few problems getting this released. I'm Joe if you're new around here and we're going to be doing the road to world number one with England. Again, this is a cool screen that's just popped up. What's new? Welcome to Crater Captain 2017. Press F1 uh, for help on any screen. Keyboard, controls, blah blah blah. 3D camera controls. Um, West Indies, Pakistan and Bangladesh domestic enter Cricket Captain World for the first time. 40 new playable teams across these and they've got the South Africa 20 over league. Um, we've also got ground and international versus records uh, available in the team details which is good. Uh, and all that. If you, if you want to have a look at what's new, pause it and uh, yeah. Uh, treat yourself so we're going to be doing an international career with England and our name is of course Joe and uh, we'll be playing on normal difficulty because you can't get any but and we're only going to be doing the first class matches because I'm going to assume like always the the limited over stuff is broken we will do some limited over stuff um, throughout the year but first of all we're going to start with the road to world number one in tests with England, this looks very, very familiar to what it's always been. Uh, there's the past performances for England, there's some of the records that you can see. We might have a look at that in future episodes. I've come home from a curry to do this. Um, so, yeah, be very, very thankful. Yeah, last year's video, uh, part number one, got 31,000 views up to this point and 150 odd likes, I think. Um, if we could get 20 likes on this video by tomorrow, then I will do two videos. You can expect a video at 8 o'clock every single day, 8 o'clock UK time, every single day for the next week on Cricket Captain, and we'll see where we go from there. But I'm really, really looking forward to getting into this. I've had a bit of a break uh, since last time around. Uh, it's already the 2nd of July. Wow. So the England squad. Let's have a look at... Oh, Kev, you know who's coming back. If if anybody watched you, watched well last year, then you'll know exactly who's coming back. I don't know who Livingston is. Um, shall we be realistic about it and uh, pick the team that are actually playing this, this game? Uh, Butler doesn't play test matches anymore. Hamid wasn't playing... Um, that's 13 to 12. I don't think Finn is still playing actually. Jake Ball, I guess. Um, oh, I'm so tempted to put him in, you know. Who's he been playing for? Sorry. He's been playing well, to be fair. If we go into current year, he's averaging 31 in one day, which isn't, isn't too bad. We're going to see if we can accommodate for him. Um, I mean, Mark Wood's playing terrible. Mark Wood comes out. Kevin Peterson comes in. What a replacement that is. The return of Kevin Peterson yet again. <laughs> um, so that's going to be the, the squad for the, the opener match. We'll, we'll get these batting. Uh, Keaton Jennings looks like he needs some batting. It's good to see that he's English on this game. Uh, last year he was still South African, which meant you, you, you couldn't play him, obviously. Um... So we'll do that. James Anderson's going to be very much overpowered on this game because he is um, sort of endorsing it, if you like. Um, it was Chris Rogers last year. So this year it's... Um, what's his face again? James Anderson, there we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just far too many bowlers, isn't it? Jake Ball, I, I've ne never really seen him play... Uh, he's only got two test max wickets. We're going to bring Kevin Peterson into the play, uh, into the side. Uh, Bearstow can move up to six. Um, so that looks like a pretty good lineup, to be quite honest with you. Stokes is going to play at six, actually. Bearstow at seven. Ali at eight. Chris Walks at nine. Uh, Anderson at ten. Uh, sorry, Broad at ten. And Anderson at eleven. So Anderson's going to be with first ball. Broad with second. And then we've got uh, Stokes and Walks. What a partnership. Um, being the, the, the fast bowlers with Ali as our spin bowler. Yeah, Joe Root, captain of England. This match has just literally got underway today. Root got 184, not out. Hopefully he can do the same today. So it just looks a little bit better. Um, you know, it feels a little bit faster. Just looks a little bit slicker so far. 
Let's have a look at the conditions. Well, it's it's a bacon day. We're going to be batting first, uh, and we're going to hopefully have a lot of fun um, with this. I will just check everything is recording uh, as it should be, and it is. So here we go. Uh, Create captain 2017 starts right here. There's the first ball, and yeah, we're we're, we're looking for a big total today to set us off for the air. Um, I mean, He's expect out. it. Oh, oh, we need it. We need to get rid of Agas. <laughs> um, Keaton Jennings gone for 16 though early on. That's not good. Um, how do we do this again? Commentary off. That's uh, default to user. Def I don't know what that means. Uh, full screen as well. Uh, well, we'll keep that on for now for this episode because I've sorted out the recording now. So Captain Root comes to the crease. Uh, on his captaincy debut, let's see how he does. Lunch interval day one, we've reached 72 for one, not too bad. I usually like to go for 100 a session, but we are playing fairly defensively. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of all you guys in the first episode. Oh, Alistair Cook's gone for 38. And now Kevin Peterson comes. I'll just take this moment to make sure that you do subscribe um, if, if you are new around here because there's plenty of management simulation. Critic Captain in 2017 is going to be a massive part of that for the next year. Uh, we've also got Football Manager 2017 and we've got Motorsport Manager going on the channel at the minute and plenty more plans for series over the summer uh, while I'm off uni. So make sure you click that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. So... Kevin Peterson comes to the crease. Please don't get out. Oh, oh dear. Look at this. Kevin Peterson is is off on one here. He's into the forties. Come on, come on, get your fifty, Kevin. End of uh, the the mid session, I guess. T interval. One hundred and eighty four for two. Joe Root on seventy two, not out. That's very very good. Fifty for Kevin Peterson. Let's watch him bring him bring it up here in classic KP style. A beautiful. Cover drive on the back foot, and well, he's already lighting up um, Lords. I think. Oh, whoa, roots out. Wow. Hold on. I want to review this. That was massively outside the line. What a rubbish decision. I can't believe that. Joe Root gone for 80 on his captaincy debut. Where is DRS on this game? Come on. Come on, childish games or whatever you call it. Uh, childish things, I think it's called. Um, yeah, DRS, where is it? Uh, Kevin Peterson going nicely, but that looks like it could be out. It is. Kevin Peterson gone for 59 on his return to the squad. And we're now 208 for four. Not looking terribly um, stable, but a couple of good scores by Gary Balance and Ben Stokes here will certainly do something to go to change that end of day one then 286 for four that's about 14 off par i would say 300 is what you're looking at um per day test wise but 286 for four that's a good start um and hopefully we can um go and uh, and make a big total uh, in day two ben stokes has went to 50 that's good i think we are going to go a little bit more attacking with ben um Gary Balance as well can go uh, uh, for it a little bit more. Oh, what a shame. Ben Stokes gone for 71, and we're now 3-3-3 three, three, three for 5. Uh, but, yeah, a very, very positive start. Gary Balance is looking good now. Um, and I think we're going to go a bit more aggressive with Johnny Bairstow as well. So there's the lunch interval on day 2, 395 for 5. Uh, we're still just under that 100 runs a session mark that I said I like to get. Balance has gone for 81, so who is going to get our maiden um, critic captain 2017 sentry? Who knows? Uh, Moan Ali likes to attack as well, so we might as well get him attacking. We've passed 400, we're going to pass 500 by the looks of things. 499 for 6. Um, based or rattling towards that 100 there. Moan Ali's actually catching him up though. 529 for 6 at the moment. Uh, that was well outside the line. T interval on day 2. 546 for 6. What an incredible innings this has been. Johnny Bairstow has been sensational. Oh, what a shame. Moan Ali gone for 78. Brings Chris Wokes to the crease. He's going to have to have a bit of a, a swing. And he's gone for 10. So Stuart Broad now comes to the crease. Uh, 
was that 100 for Johnny Bairstow? It was. He got his quick single. Let's watch him bring up his century. I mean, that was risky. That was very risky, but that is a century for Johnny Bairstow. That is his... Let's have a look. Uh, fourth. That's only his fourth test century. Um, I wonder if he can get it versus... Uh, so versus country you can do versus South Africa how does he usually do that's his second hundred in South Africa he's usually a very good batsman against them apparently that's very very cool little feature there the first impressions of this game is that it runs a lot smoother um, than, than CC16 and uh, yeah I'm having bags of fun doing this I'll be playing this a lot over the next week to get content out for you guys but Stuart Broad gone for 33 uh, Jimmy Anderson comes to the crease now. Hopefully, he can stick around a bit long, longer so that Johnny Bairstow can just push on. But uh, what a start this has been! 150 now for Johnny Bairstow. What is his highest test score? That's the next thing in jeopardy. 167 not out, so he could very well get there uh, if he keeps going the way he is. Yeah, 162 now. 667 for night. Oh. Come on, Johnny. I want you to get your highest test score. And he has 175 he's on now. End of day two, 681 for nine. We've got to go for the 700, haven't we? Surely. Got to go for 700. Our tie in the air. And it's been caught. What a shame. Johnny Bairstow gone for 184. So 692 all out. A new all-time record in our first test innings as England captain. Oh boy, that was good. Whoa! Eight wickets for Rabada. I didn't, didn't uh, realise that at the time. Right then, so somebody told us that we should go... No, I'm going to go aggressive early on. I'm going to go the way I usually play for this first episode, but leave your feedback down in the comments of how you think I should be playing. Uh, my opening bowlers, but Stu Brock comes in and gets a wicket. Markram gone for eight. That's a brilliant start. 17 for one, South Africa. What about Anderson? He comes in now. He hits to cock. Ooh, could this be an early retirement for South Africa? That would be a bit of a shame. It is. De Kock has retired. He's gone for four. I guess. Um, so this is the sixth over now brought in. Elgar, and that's his second wicket. Elgar gone for 10, and South Africa crumbling here. 27 for 2, but really it's 27 for 3, remember. Uh, ben Stokes is going to come in now, and so is Chris Walks. Chris Walks to Hashim Amla. Unlucky. What about Walks to Amla this time? Nope. Lunch interval day three, South Africa 55 for two. We're going to continue with these two just after lunch. Stokes to Amla, unlucky. Stokes to Duplessis, gone. Duplessis gone for 14, 69 for four. Now, what a start this has been. We're going to bring on Moen Ali now into the attack. Moen Ali to Bavuma, gone. He's out for six. That's brilliant. Moen Ali straight into the attack. Straight into a wicket. Rain stops play, apparently. I didn't see this on the forecast. But we'll have to keep an eye on that as the match progresses. Ben Stokes to Amla. We've kept him at one end. Um, so we'll bring in Stuart Broad again. Broad to JP Dumini. And he's gone for 14. 110 for 6, effectively, now. After the retirement of De Kock. Now Ali to Vernon Philander. Ali again to Vernon Philander. Go! Oh, I thought that was going to be out. Broad to Philander. That could be out. That certainly could be out. An appeal goes out, and that's given the finger. Philander out for 16. 132 for 7. What a performance this has been from us. Um, Anderson and Broad are going to take over in this final session. Try and get a couple of wickets here. Anderson's been quite disappointing so far. We'll bring in Chris Walks and Moen Ali, who's been quite effective. Moen Ali to Olivier. Nope. How about this time? Moen Ali to Olivier once again. Nope. 
Third time lucky, surely. Nope. Four times a charm. Got him! He's gone for 26. A good catch by Captain Root there. And, yeah. Chris Wokes comes in to Morkel now. That's a good shout. And he's gone for five. Morning, Morkel. Out for five. South Africa still need 200 to avoid the follow-on. They can't even add one to it because Wokes... How was that not out? It mustn't have carried. It must have bumped balled. I guess. So if we can get them out before the end of the day, then we're going to enforce the follow-on here. And, uh... Well, we might do it here, Ben Stokes. No. Mo and Ali, come on. Final over the day. Mo, Mo and Ali to Rabada. And he's gone for 10. South Africa, 242 all out. They're going to need 451 runs to make us bat again. What a performance. What an absolutely brilliant performance. And there's the end of day three then. I'm surprised we came out to be honest. But um, Stuart Broad and James Anderson will start the day. And remember De Kock is injured. So nine wickets to win. We've got 450 runs uh, to hold on to here. We're going to bring Moan Alley in early. So Moan Alley to Markram now. Got him! He's gone for 37. Markram out. That's brilliant. And we haven't got too much pressure on us. Wokes has got a wicket. David Elgar. I think it's David Elver. Elgar, is it? No, Dean Elgar. He's He's gone for 26. Elgar, I think, might have played for Newcastle at some point. Correct us if I'm wrong. Uh, United, that is, in England. Moan Alley now to Duplessis, the captain. Nope. How about now? Moan Ali to Duplessis again. Nope. Third time's a charm. It certainly is for Moan Ali. Duplessis gone for 23. Caught by former Captain Cook. And, yeah. South Africa, 173 for 4 in the minute. Stokes with the delivery. Not out, unfortunately. Going to bring Stuart Broad back into the, the fray. Ali to Amla gone. He's out for 39. That's what we're talking about. Might bring Kevin Peterson on to bowl. Just a couple of overs. See how he does. How about James Anderson? T interval day four then. 2-3-3 uh, three, three for five. So five more wickets needed. Uh, I didn't want Kevin Peterson on. I thought I changed him for James Anderson. Um, Chris Walks and Ali. Yeah, seem to be building a bit of a partnership here. Yeah. Oh, that's four. We're gonna reduce this a little bit. We're gonna um, change things up just a little bit, just to try and spook them a little bit. Uh, new ball available. Surely we've got to go aggressive now. Um, bring in Stuart Broad. I think go Ben Stokes. I don't know why, but I have a feeling about Ben. Ben Stokes to Bavuma. Oh, dropped catch, unlucky. What about Ben Stokes to Bavuma this time? Oh, good start by whoever that was. End of day four then, they've got a day to bat out. This is concerning. James Anderson is going to bowl the first ball of the day. He hasn't got a wicket in this test match yet. Come on, Stuart Broad to Bavuma. It's a good delivery, but... No. Gonna have to bring on Mo and Ali now. Yeah, James Anderson's been really poor. Chris Wokes now to Dumini. He's gone for 93. That's exactly what we needed there. A new batsman to the crease. Four wickets to win. Wokes gets another one. Bavuma gone for 116. We got the two we needed to get out just before lunch. Broad now to Vernon Philander. He's gone for 30. When early there, lunch interval day five. Come on, boys. Broad to Olivia. He's gone as well for 15. One wicket to win. We only lead by eight runs, to be fair, so maybe it isn't a win. I don't know why, but I'm bowling short. 
He's gone though. Morning, Morkel. Out for seven. We win by an innings and four runs on our debut. What a brilliant first match that was. And we go 1 0 up in the series. What a brilliant. Look at that. Achievements already um, there. And that is where we're going to leave it for this first episode. Wow. First impressions then. Good game, Cricket Captain. They always produce a, a good one. Maybe not too much improvement wise, graphic wise, but, you know, just getting the players to the right level. And it's it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Go out there and buy it. It was seventeen ninety nine for me on Steam um, on day one. You know, whenever you're watching this, it's probably a bit cheaper. So go out there and buy it. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new. And remember, 20 likes um, by tomorrow morning. And there will be two videos out tomorrow. One at 6, one at 8. And there's going to be a video out at 8 o'clock every day this week um, for the road to world number one. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like because 20 likes equals two videos tomorrow. And make sure you do subscribe because there's going to be plenty of Cricket Captain 2017 in the future. Make sure you leave your comments down below about how hyped you are for Cricket Captain 2017 and how much, um, well, how bad you think I am. Or, you know, just to say hi, uh, just leave those comments down below. So. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to get back out and have a few drinks with my friends. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.